Hey there sports fans, today we are going to be installing this custom windshield bearing to the top of my Honda Ridgeline. I got this from the fine gentleman at uh, Colorado Fairing Company. Um, I found them actually through a video on YouTube and then went to their Facebook page and was in communication with them through Messenger in order to, um, to order this. Um, they had stopped production for a while and then um, just started again a week or two ago and so I was able to snag this and I am stoked. I think it's going to look awesome. So let's get started. So it comes with hardware, um, a carriage bolt, a felt washer, a lock washer, and then a thumb turn nut screw. I feel like it doesn't say specifically on the directions, but I'm going to put the felt washer against the artwork, right? Because you would want to protect that. Snug that in there. And then fit my metal bracket, lock nut, and then thumb screw. And you're just loosely attaching this for right now because you're going to be making adjustments in a second. Alright, and then each one of these on the farther end, you'll insert it into the slot in that bracket and twist it to secure it. bracket around the crossbar and then back through the bracket and again kind of pull it tight to the very last graduation on this strap so that it's nice and secure. It's not going to be perfect. Um, and then I found the best way to be able to adjust it so that it matches the curve of my vehicle's diameter. And most importantly, you don't want any gap here in the front, is to loosen this nut kind of Hold it down as you tighten it, and then do the same with these side ones. There's going to be a little bit of a gap, and that's okay, but most importantly, you don't want any gap towards the center. Yeah, I think that's just as good as it gets, but most importantly, again, no gap in the center. So I'm going to go take this for a drive, and we'll see how quiet it is. Before I go for my test drive, I'm going to trim this up and cut it off just above that last graduation that I'm using on the strap. I'm going to show you what it looks like from the side profile. Again, I put the felt washer up front here, and then the bracket, and then the lock washer, and then the thumb screw, and then this is a close-up of how those rubber straps come around the crossbars. Good, and again, if you look in that center, there's no gap. But then there is towards this corner here. But we'll see how it settles in. I am going 80 on the interstate right now and it is quiet. There's still a little bit of a sound, but I think that's just inherent to having anything on your roof. Um, but it is smooth. I am very happy with my purchase and install. Here it is. <laughs> 